that coordination and are there ways that people learn in industry that you think people in academia could learn from and vice versa? Well, it's so it's. I mean, I think it's that's an interesting problem. Um, I mean, some of these things, um, it's hard to see, uh, right? Because you, you you can't you can't. There's some things that's impossible to predict. Um, a good case, a good ver, a good version of this is actually so. The most recent thing I've actually worked on is it's not um, these closure closure and closure script libraries, but it's this thing. It's this library I wrote called Ohm, which is. Um, it's an abstraction over Facebook's React library. React is a um, it's a uh, sort of UI programming framework for the browser. But what's cool about React is that it adopts a um, it's like a graphics pipeline approach. So if you do any serious amounts of computer graphics programming, you have this problem in which you have the GPU, but the GPU is it's distant, and you need to basically prepare all your information. In order so that you can send it to the GPU in one swoop, uh, you you really can't have too much communication with this remote service. And the benefit of actually doing it sort of this batched rendering is that you get incredible performance, right? So the reason um, uh, games look so great is because people have simply uh, adopted this model where you have this extremely uh, specialized hardware architecture, and you're you have to speak to it in a very specific way. It's actually very functional. If you looked at like hardcore graphics programming, it's actually um, functional programming with really horrible syntax. Um, so, so React works this way. It's a, basically it's like an immediate mode rendering system. Um, and something that I saw when I encountered it, which was sort of uh, suggested to me by my friend Brandon Bloom, is that you can actually make their system faster with immutable data structures. Right, so this is like a very, very non-obvious thing. Um, in fact, I could, you could probably look around a lot and not encounter anybody coming to this conclusion that you could actually write um, a virtual sort of, it's a, basically a virtual DOM representation, and you can actually drive um, their diffing algorithm with immutable data structures, and you can beat um, imperative solutions. So that's the cool thing about React plus immutable data is faster than what people are doing by hand um, by talking to the DOM directly. And that's something that you really can't encounter without simply saying, well, I think immutable data structures are cool. I like programming with them. And then some other piece of technology just happens to appear. And then you have a realization. And then you have a very interesting solution that's actually extremely applicable and easy to communicate to mainstream programmers. So I think, again, the question isn't like, how, you know, how do you convince people to just look at research or just look at um, mainstream practices? Again, I think it's a problem of diversity, right? If you have enough people with enough broad base of knowledge, you have the opportunity to connect the dots, right? It's not like engineers can immediately see how to apply science or academics immediately understand the problems engineers have. I think you have to have a culture in which both parties are aware of the, the problems and the... Um, approaches, right? Uh, 